Voting lasts until November 1st, and Election Day is on the 5th. You can count on KTSM 9 News on air and online for your local election headquarters. And today, a new candidate has emerged to run for State Rep Cesar Blanco's seat. City Council Rep Claudia Ordaz Perez throwing her hat in the ring for Texas House District 76. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live in the newsroom. Ordaz Perez launching her campaign today for District 76, and her opponent, Elisa Tamayo, announced her campaign last month. Ordaz Perez brings city council experience, but her opponent, Tamayo, already has experience in Austin. Now both will be going head to head. Young advocate at the state level to help protect our nation. City Rep Claudia Ordaz Perez says her District 6 constituents encouraged her to run for outgoing state rep Cesar Blanco's seat after she helped defeat the planned medical waste facility in the Lower Valley. After much thought, a lot of encouragement for, from residents in the neighborhood um, that they feel they would like to see uh, me representing them in Austin. Serving five years on city council, voters re-elected Ordaz Perez to her seat in 2018. That type of experience and ensuring that knowing what's, what's important to El Pasoans, we need that type of perspective in Austin because that's currently not the case right now. But Ordaz Perez has competition coming straight out of Blanco's own office. Serving at the state level is a whole different game, and I do believe that it gives me an advantage to have that experience from Rep. Blanco's office and with Senator Rodriguez's office to know what we need to bring to make to move El Paso forward. Elisa Tamayo currently endorsed by several state delegates, including Joe Moody, Mary Gonzalez, and State Senator Jose Rodriguez. Tamayo says her eyes are set on bilingual education and advancing health care access in El Paso. Adding, she thinks Ordaz Perez's time with the city is more of a liability than a selling point. I think that city council has a lot to work on and they have had some challenges that I think that the voters have seen. And I don't think that we want to bring this to Austin. El Paso Mayor D. Margo calling for a special election after the announcement following the resign to run, run provision. That item will be added to next week's council agenda. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie.